Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com and I have just finally moved into my new apartment so I can start shooting a lot more videos now. And I set up internet access at my apartment yesterday and now I'm going to be unboxing a new router, the OnHub from Google. Now Google has teamed up with TP-Link and they give you a new way to Wi-Fi or so they say. So I wanna go ahead and show you what's in the box, set it up with my new internet that I set up actually, and also show you the companion app that comes with it. So let's go ahead and get to it. All right, here it is. The box is a little heavier than I thought it was going to be. And you'll see, it lets you know what's in the box. You just have to get the app, plug in, and you can get online. Hopefully it's that simple. I'll show you guys real quick. So let's slide this up. Looks like you have a little card that was on top of the box. It lets you know what each color means. So the top of it does light up. No light means it's off. Blue, ready for setup. Teal, on and active. Amber, something is wrong. So I guess you could take a quick glance at it and you'll know if there's actually a problem. So here we go, a light blue box with a, uh, I guess, tab that you pull up. Nice presentation. So here is the router, manufactured by TP-Link and partnered with Google, as I said earlier. So it's a cylindrical piece of equipment. I wanna see maybe if this outer casing twists off or anything. I'm not sure exactly how it works just yet. So that being said, I'm gonna put it to the side before I break something. Let's go ahead and see what else is in the box, the rest of it. So inside here we have, my guess is this says ethernet cables on the outside. So it comes with two ethernet cables and they are more uh, flat ethernet cables as you could see. So it's actually pretty good. And then we will also see what this is. It's a power adapter. And I believe that would be it. So it just comes with the power adapter and ethernet cables and you're done and the device itself. So nothing out of the ordinary, no instructions. I mean, the instructions actually just simply state, get the app, plug in, get online. So let's get over and plug this guy in. Okay, so here's everything we need to get everything set up. Um, the OnHub actually does open up. So to do so, you just kind of twist it over and then pull up and then the casing does come off and you'll see you have some more packaging on the outside of it. And then you'll see download the app plugin and power internet. Um, now you'll see you have the power, you have a USB slot, you have looks like internet in and out slots as well to get things going. But overall, that's really it. So you'll see, it's just kind of a strange looking thing without the case on. Anyways, let's go ahead and grab one of these flat ethernet cables and plug it on in. And then this is going to plug into the modem, of course. Let's go ahead and plug it in. Okay, so these ethernet cables actually aren't really that long. I'm gonna actually need to move over to get it to reach the modem. All right, now that I've got it plugged in, let's go ahead and get some power going to the device itself. So plug this into the power slot and then into the wall itself. All right, so a little sloppy, but I will make it more clean, obviously, once I get everything set up. Just for the purpose of this unboxing, I want to show you guys. So you'll see it does fit when I do lock it. So it does have enough room for the ethernet cable and the power cable, and you'll see the USB slot is down at the bottom. So you could actually plug something in and it's not going to be a problem. All right, so with it plugged in, let's go ahead and grab our phone where you'll see I have the Google On app. Let's go ahead and go into it. You do need to sign into your Google account, of course, uh, which I've already done when I went in with the first time. Now it's gonna say looking for OnHub. OnHub found, which is good news. That wasn't very difficult at all. Okay, get close to OnHub. It wants to tell your mobile phone the secret setup code for best results. Hold your phone right over on OnHub and tap next. So it says listening for OnHub. It says asking OnHub for secret setup code. Receiving code from audio tone. That's actually really cool. All right, it says got the code, good news. And it's time to connect directly to your OnHub. So let's go ahead and press connect. You also notice a slight little light up at the top of that OnHub that is flashing because we are setting it up at the moment. So let's check in OnHub status. Connection issue. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and restart my modem really quick. All right, so it's flashing blue now. Uh, pulse blue and ready. I'm gonna tap retry. All right, set up Wi-Fi. So let's create a name and password really quick. All right, so I went and created the network really quick. Obviously, just didn't want you guys to see it 
in general, just the password. So let's build the Wi-Fi network and applying network settings. Wow, so it's making noise actually. These, um, the router itself is, this is not the phone. This is the router. All right, probably had to wait about 30 seconds. This is all set up. Now what? Tap continue to see what the Google On app can do for us. And you'll see it's logged me in. It shows me as the owner. You can add a new On Hub if you have more than one. All right, so I'm gonna set the On Hub to the side and we're gonna take a closer look at the app. Okay, you'll see everything looks good. Dev one device is online. You'll see my phone is the one. There's a little icon right down here. I'm gonna press it. I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna do. It's doing a network check. So I don't know if this is actually a speed test or if it's, oh it is. So let's run the speed test real quick. All right, Wi-Fi test complete. You'll see it says 35% efficiency, 86 down, 11 up, which is close to what I was actually getting on my laptop as well. So this is perfect. Um, and let's go ahead and hit share. No, I don't want to share it. Don't need to. All right, Wi-Fi access. You'll see it uh, just says Wi-Fi password right there. Um, looks like you can share, which means I guess you can share the information with someone, which is kind of cool if you just have a friend over and they want the Wi-Fi password. Instead of saying it over and over to them, you could just maybe shoot them a text message or tweet it out. You'll see my password just shows up after you hit that share button. Okay, so if you tap on this area, you'll see it just says real time how much data you're actually using. Obviously, I just set it up so it has essentially no data whatsoever. Let's go to the settings icon in the upper right hand corner. You'll see network, you have advanced networking as well, uh, DNS, WAN, or extended settings, port forwarding, static, IP, and UPnP. If you press that, let's go to UPnP, and you'll see universal plug and play enables it to discover it, etc. So that's on. Um, all right, let's go back and you'll see on hub hardware, the light brightness, you can change that. Uh, let's go ahead and test that. Okay, so here it is with light brightness all the way down. It shuts off. Let's go to very minimal brightness and you'll see it turn on. Let's go to medium brightness. There's that and then all the way up. So it does get pretty bright just to kind of let you know the status of the router. Anyways, you'll see software version, on hub details. You can restart it or factory reset. So that's nice. You can restart it straight from your phone so you don't have to, I guess, get it up, unplug it, plug it back in. Although. Unplugging and plugging back in probably is the better bet. You can customize who can edit the settings of the router. So if you have roommates or anything like that, they can have the app as well. And then app and support details just gives you more information about the app. And then privacy is on cloud services, usage stats, and app usage stats as well. But anyways, that's the OnHub router from Google and TP-Link. I will be doing a full review video soon once I actually get some usage with it with a lot of people on it at once, more bandwidth, see how it optimizes, everything like that, give you even more information on it. So like I said, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all links in the description below. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching.